touch anything without these guys popping up. That's a good sign. So already I can see I've got this humpy half moist soil. Let's go ahead and do like a quick soil test just by hand. You can tell this is a bit drier area between soils. But ideally, your soil should be able to form a ball, uh, but can easily kind of break apart like so. So that's a good sign. We'll see if it uh, continues in other locations around the property. So I've got a big, nice chunk to work with. Let me get my mason jar. So you really just want to fill up, let's see, Mason, I'm sure you can see it there. I'm going to put about halfway up the Mason jar. Give you, oh, there's some plant matter in there. Don't want the roots. Not the plant. I'm very happy to see that the soil looks this way. It's very encouraging. So, yep, that's about halfway, about 200 at the mark, yep, and we're going to fill this with water and let it sit for a while and then we'll be finished. Time to fill and let it rest and we can come back and analyze it. Soil back. Oh, hey girl. Oh, come here. Here's my helper. Yay! Say hi. Oh, she's totally not interested. Okay, so I've gone ahead and filled the mason jar, leaving a little bit of space at the top just to, you can see right there just so that there's room to shake and mix all of the components of the soil and water together. You want a pretty even suspension, so make sure you have the lid on tight. And then go ahead and disturb it for a few minutes. You're probably not going to do a few minutes. Just enough so that there's a pretty even suspension of all the soil particles because you really want to let the different components settle together. Uh, does not look appetizing. I usually eat out of these jars. What <laughs> beating out of this one? After some bleach. Be my victim of the garden. this. Let's see. Yep. Looking kind of like a smoothie. A really nasty smoothie. You can see. Oh, squirrels. I knew I should have brought Lacey out here. Okay, so you can see, I think, maybe, that it's pretty even. So we are going to let all of the particles settle. And then come back and check on it in a little while. Oh, I can already see it. The sand. Wow. That happened pretty quickly, actually. Let me shake it better. See, maybe you can see it. I think there's a bit of a glare. Um, anyways. Right about this line, you can see the heavier particles already settling and creating kind of like a, a layered effect with themselves. So we will see. We'll just let that 
continue to settle. Hope for the best. Okay, so it's been a couple hours. I busied myself out <laughs> in the yard trying to figure out places to put my fruit trees, but the soil water mixture has had a chance to settle. And, well, you can see if I'm very careful about it. Demarcations. So, at the top, of course, is the, the water with a little bit of soil left in it. I'm trying to find a good spot away from the glare. Okay, well, the top, the top portion is actually the, the clay. And that comprised probably about 35% um, of my soil water mixture. The middle layer is silt. I'm guessing it, it looks about like 15%. Now the bottom, and, and this is what you can see best through the video <laughs> when there's not a glare, where all this coarse material is, that is actually sand. And I would say roughly 50% of my sample is actually sand. Um, there are good things about sand and there are bad things about sand. <laughs> It does not retain any nutrients or water moisture. So <laughs> I will definitely need to um, add compost, probably like two to four layers of compost to the top portion of my, my planter beds or, or my tree areas um, to, to add that, that nutrient balance back into it. Now, if um, my clay, because clay seems to hold a lot more nutrients and it creates kind of like a clay pot effect where the moisture does not drain out very well. Um, if that was an equal 50-50 um, percentage, then I really wouldn't have to do a whole lot other than just basic once or twice, you know, make a couple of amendments. Um, however, that is not the case. I do have clay, and that's that's a good thing. People are scared of clay because, oh no, I have clay. My soil is not going to drain, and um, my plant growth is going to be stunted. Well, clay has nutrients and minerals, and that's what you want when you're trying to to grow a fertile plant base. So it's good. I have clay. I'm actually very happy about that. I do have a fine layer of silt. Silt is smallest soil particle in the whole mix and it's it's very difficult to to point out on video at least and really even in person because it's so fine that you really can't see much of it yeah I am struggling just to see it right now but it's barely visible I also ran a pH test while I was waiting for the solution to uh, or the suspension to settle a bit. And you can see, here's my, this is a $6 kit is actually not super reliable, but it's the best I have right now. Um, slightly green, which actually means, well, it's about pH neutral. So that's, that can be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on the plant. Um, I think it would be easier to start out from a pH neutral and work your way up or down based upon the location and plant needs. But um, so, so really what I've gathered from this is that whatever I plant in that area, and I'm laughing at my cat because he's, he's having a moment. <laughs> um, whatever I plant in the area, I know it's going to have adequate drainage because of the sand. And I know it's going to have enough mineral and nutrient content to um, to be at least mildly fertile. Now, if I want to really step up production, then of course I will want to um, add compost or, or fish emulsion, something to provide that extra nutrient um, input. But yeah, so there it is. And... I hope that that has at least been mildly 
instructive for some people. It's a really easy test to do. Oh, you can kind of see the silt there. Just a little bit dried. Barely, just right there. See that dark line, kind of medium, and then the lighter. That's the silt. So grab a mason jar and it's best to do this before you start putting plants in the ground so you know what you need to do. So happy planting.